Thanks, everyone. Uh, Michelle Hillbrand is here. She's a mom, she's a crafter, and she's here to show us a fun weekend project. She's also a chicken farmer uh, from Amro, and she made the trip up here to show us one of the, your holiday creations that you've yes. made. Something you can put outside or inside? Inside or out, yep. Okay, and tell us about your, your project here. Well, I just, I wanted to do something you could completely do from shopping your local Habitat for Humanity Restore. Because everything okay. there is just pulled out of old homes, it's got so much character, and it's cheap. You're taking so. something old and turning it into a new treasure. Absolutely. And this one is for the holidays. Take yep. a look at this. It's a sign, um, and it starts with Noel, Believe, and they didn't come this way. You created this. Yeah. So what are the items that you needed from the Restore to make this happen? Well, I looked in their scrap bin to find pieces that I could use for the bottom. Okay. Um, for the to base. To make your base. To make the base. And then a spindle and then a couple pieces of baseboard trim. You could go any size with that too, right? Yes, I mean they have like newel posts, like the big ones at the bottom of a staircase or a, from a porch. You, you could make a huge sign, a huge tree. Yep, out of this. Any okay. size. Very cool. So what did you do to this? You had to notch it out? We did. My husband did this way, um, notched it out so that the two pieces just slide together. It makes a nice sturdy base. Um, you could just take the base or the spindle and put one piece in each side, nail it into each side if you don't have the capability to notch it out like this. Got it, okay. So that doesn't matter. Um, and then we just screwed through there. Did you drill a you drill, was yeah. that already in there? No, we pre-drilled okay, it. you did that, okay. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this in here. It's live TV, so it probably won't happen. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks good. So, so, so far, you, so good. So you just screw that in place so that this is then standing upright. Oh, and you can and have I a much bigger one with this. Yes. Much bigger tree. Yes. Okay. And this one came painted this color already, so you can just leave things the way yeah, they are. Yeah, that's great. Or Absolutely. paint it whatever you want. This one, I like that you left it the natural wood. Yeah. There, that looks really nice. Yeah, I thought okay. it would go nice with the white of all the trim. Yeah. Very rustic. So what kind of pieces are these made of? Um, these would be like your traditional just base molding. Okay. In, in like an older like Victorian style home, which they're everywhere, yep. and they rip that stuff out and they get rid of it, which is a shame, but... Then you can use it for your holidays. Right. Okay. Same thing with this top one. It's another form of, of trim work that would go around a doorway or window casing. And then did you cut casing. it so that it angled like yes. a tree? Yeah. Okay. You wouldn't have to do that. But, but you could. All but right. I did. Very fun. And then how did you figure out what to, to uh, how to do the letters? Well, I went on Pinterest and just found some nice wintry sayings that I liked. And then put them onto a transparency and projected them on there. This one I freehanded on there. So if you're not technologically savvy right, you can to just do the whole projection it. thing, right. well, you could get stencils from the craft store, or maybe you stencils. already have some. Yep. Okay, and then how to do what, just show us a little bit here of what sure. you've done. So I just did it real lightly with a pencil, and then I'm a big fan of these Valspar paints because they're less than three bucks. And then you just... Well, Are these the ones that they sell as samples for yeah. you if you if you're trying to figure out a color for your yeah, walls? Yeah, they have some pre-mixed, and you can ask them for a color too. Like you can have them mix up whatever color you want to try. Plus, Better Homes and Gardens has been putting coupons for free ones of these in their magazines. Well, aren't you Miss Know It All? Yeah, yeah, you know how to save a dollar. I do. Yeah. <laughs> so this whole project, literally, ten bucks maybe. And you're helping thing. out uh, your local Habitat for Humanity yeah. program, too, yeah. by shopping at the ReStore. So she's got a lot of great ideas. Uh, this is what Michelle is all about, this kind of a look. It's very rustic. and She does a lot of craft uh, shows. Yep. Um, you can make something like this for a different holiday, Valentine's Day, Easter, yep. whatever. Yep. So if people want to follow you, what's your Facebook page? Cherry Blossoms and Chickens. Look for me on Facebook. Cherry I'm Blossoms yeah. and Chickens. All my crafts are on there. and. Lots of ideas. Thanks, Michelle. Next time she's going to show up, show us how to make a banner, a burlap banner yep. for the holidays. Yep. That's coming up on Good Day Wisconsin. We'll be right back.